how to meditate question mark well the answer is not straightforward at the same time it is quite simple meditation means that we allow our mind to get into a state where it experiences a certain level of calm a certain level of quiet and a certain level of peace so there are various types of meditations and in order for you to find out how to meditate it really depends on what is your main motivation for meditation why would you like to meditate and how committed are you to the practice how much of um trauma and behavioral patterns are you carrying that prevents you from living your highest truth or that can potentially be in the way from preventing you to go deep into meditation how is your diet your lifestyle so these are all questions that need to be answered first in order to understand how to meditate because there are various meditation practices for various um approaches and for whatever suits people at any particular moment in time so although i haven't really answered that question but i need to give you a framework of the complexity so it's about sitting down what do i wish to get out of the meditation how much do you think is your mind getting in the way of the process and how much time commitment do you have in order to learn about meditation i have tried to meditate but i can't what shall i do first of all there is no such thing as one type of meditation and people have a preconceived idea about what meditation is people think oh i need to sit down and i need to cross my legs and i need to keep my eyes shut and i can't move i can't think or i should not be thinking so there are so many um ideas floating around what meditation actually is so it is about finding out what is suitable for you maybe for you initially meditation could mean to sit down and listen to some relaxing music or maybe it is a meditation where you become conscious when you walk in nature maybe it is about sitting quietly and just closing your eyes so these are all um various aspects that need to be taken into consideration when answering the question i have tried and i can't what shall i do okay so maybe it is about you haven't really found the angle of meditation that works best for you for example we all have got we all perceive the world through the lens of the five senses hearing tasting touch sight and smell and some of the senses we have more easy access to some people maybe the sense of hearing for them to get into a meditative state is about listening to soothing music or frequencies others um perceive the world predominantly through the sense of sight which means maybe looking at an image that can help you calm and relax the mind how long will it take me to learn to meditate it's simple it can be achieved very easily very quickly there are various types of meditation practices for example one of my uh, meditation practice that i teach is a vedic meditation technique and you will basically be able to learn to meditate within the framework of nawa although the course is designed over three sessions but in essence you would be able to learn to meditate within less than an hour it is about trying to help you to understand what meditation means it's about 
accepting whatever happens in the meditation is the right process. So, for example, if you think meditation is all about me being in a different world and having no thoughts and seeing all the different colors and images and being able to see the future, that's all wonderful if that happens. But if you come in with that expectation, it may take you very long time, you know. So, again, there are various techniques. You can learn to meditate quite quickly and quite fast, but it is about continued practice. It is not something that you do once and then you reap the benefits. In order for you to really benefit from the meditation, it requires continued practice. What are the benefits of meditation? They are manifolds from helping you to improve the quality of sleep, from reducing the symptoms of anxiety to help balancing blood pressure, for example. It will help you to deal with stress in a much better way. It will help you to improve your creativity, to remove a brain fog, or for example, it will help to or can help to increase the memory. So really the benefits are really manifold. Again, it depends on which practice you choose. So you have the possibility to get from destination A to Z using, for example, your inline skates or your rollerblades, or maybe you can get from A to Z by walking, or you choose to get from A to Z getting into a, a, a plane and flying there. So various techniques have proven to bring out those beneficial benefits quicker than others. It doesn't mean that one meditation practice is better than others, because sometimes it's important that we really learn how to walk properly before we start to run. So, so many different um, benefits of meditation. It will also, what the main benefits of a good meditation practice is, it increases brain coherence. What I mean by that is, it allows to the brain to switch from logical thinking to the intuitive state of being in a very easy, fluid, transparent state of mind. It will help you to get into a relaxed space even when under stress, for example, parasympathetic and sympathetic nervous system and how the two of them, of them become like, like a beautiful um, liquid fluid that melts and plays with each other. So which will lead you to the fact of being able to release stress and by releasing stress or releasing the impact that stress may have on you, you reduce cortisol levels, for example, in your body. By reducing cortisol levels in your body, you um, may be able to support a more youthful appearance by the fact by the way, it is a known fact that people who meditate on a regular basis, their biological age is much less than their actual age. So it does have a youthful effect. So many benefits to the meditation. I just mentioned a few. What is different about the Awakening Alchemy meditation course? First of all, the Awakening Alchemy Meditation course is a platform, a course, where I share over 35 years of experiences of what have helped me to deepen my existing meditation practice, what have helped my patients who start their journey on the meditation practice or any meditation practice, and also for those who really want to take meditation on to another level. So 
I provide you with various tools and techniques in the course where you will be able to experience which tools would work for you. In one of my previous questions, I have mentioned that we all perceive our external world through the five senses. And depending on which sense is more predominant in your life, with which sense you live your life more predominantly, there are various tools that link into that sensory experience, which make it easier to meditate. So in the Awakening Alchemy Meditation course, I give you a tools of breathing techniques. I give you a tools of mudras or hand gestures. We will talk about various meditation practices. And basically, I will provide you with a toolkit where you can put together that which works for you rather than me coming and saying this is the best meditation practice you have to do it my way here in the awakening alchemy meditation course you will be equipped with everything you need to put together your own practice the practice that you feel comfortable with at that particular moment in time